Dear College of Education, I remember it like it was yesterday, when the stars collided and I recognized that it was the perfectly imperfect time to start the process. I had always dreamed of earning my PhD, but never knew how or when. It was almost a serendipitous moment. I had just completed a six-day leadership retreat where I helped facilitate young, brilliant minds to discover their ability to change the world. I learned alongside my group that week. I recognized that I too was discovering my own ability to create the change I wanted to see in the world. It wasn't happenstance that a colleague and dear friend happened to share a little bit about her experience at NC State. The unwavering support she got from her advisor, the nurturing space created in and outside the classroom for her to learn hard truths, and the room for her to develop into her own. Her experience resonated with me, as did the mountain that I would have to climb to turn this dream into reality. Embarking on this experience meant it would take me away from my family as I drove two hours, one to two times a week for my first year. It meant that I would leave a full-time job and salary. It meant that every moment had to be strategically planned to make this dream a reality. However, as with each fateful step, the mountain became smaller the more I learned about you and what you truly stood for. I chose you, NC State's College of Education, because of the married notion of scholar and practitioner. I chose you because you honored my time and practice in the field across education. I chose you because you invited me to develop my identity as a scholar in my own time, in my own way. I chose you because of your focus on changing the world from within, inspiring us, your students, to be change makers that would send ripple effects into our larger society. I chose you because of the faculty members I sat across from in my interview who assured me that I could bring my full self to the program. You recognize the intersection of my identities and experiences as a strength and not an obstacle or a deficit. Today I can say nothing but thank you for being who they said you were, who I thought you were, and helping me become the scholar practitioner you always thought I could be. My success is a reflection of the trust and belief you had in me that I could turn a dream into a reality and that I could inspire others to do the same. I'm grateful for choosing you and honor that you chose me.